This table design emerged from extensive research, including reading various blog articles and how-to guides on vacuum tables. A particularly insightful article from ShopBot served as inspiration, along with other sources we explored. Our primary goal was to create a functional vacuum table that we could securely hold large at work pieces. Along the way, we learned valuable lessons and experimented with unconventional components that we plan to upgrade over time. Our vacuum table has already proven successful for cutting and securing cabinet parts made from MDF core veneer and white malamine. Additionally, it worked well for holding sheets of MDF while pocketing out centers and creating square raised MDF panel doors for cabinet box applications. The heart of our system is a regenerative vacuum blower motor, which is a three-phase, three-horsepower unit. While many articles recommend running vacuum tables with much larger vacuums, we pieced together what we could without incurring crazy costs. This is the three-phase converter with the rotary motor below it to create the third power leg. Here's a diagram we used to wire it. Partially due to not removing the bottom skin layer on the MDS spoil board, the vacuum is really sucking the spoil board down to the plenum. You can see as the glue squeezes out on the sides when I open the zone. You would hope for as little resistance as possible and need to cover with plastic to create a suction. We will be drilling numerous small holes. <laughs> 